Some cops think they can get away with anything, until the very citizens they try to control serve them a quick dose of karma. Here are some unforgettable moments where cops got exactly what they deserved from everyday people. First, we have an officer who tries to intimidate a citizen, but the tables turn faster than he expected. In August of 2024, an auditor named Sean was in Ohio just making a video. However, what happened was truly shocking. So I'd appreciate if you don't shine your light. Well, we would appreciate you if you stay over there. I, Sir. Okay. Yeah, we are. We are. Stop shining your light in my camera. That's a violation of my First Amendment right. You are currently violating the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. I'm going to ask you to stop. Since when did recording in public become a crime? What's your name and badge number? Griffin. Griffin what? Don't stay behind me, please. Officer I'm not going to hurt you. What's your, Officer, Officer Griffin, what's your badge number? What's your badge number, Officer Griffin? What's your badge number? No, 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 you're not. No, you're being, you're being a tyrant. That's what you're being. You're being a tyrant. Have a good day. Yeah. This officer might need a refresher on the Constitution and on basic human decency. Who knows? Who knows? Pete, this, this is what we deal with all the time. This is this is what we deal with all the time. It's kind of about to get arrested in a minute. Yeah. Arrested for what? On what charges? The blatant disregard for the justice system here is staggering. I want to speak to a supervisor. The, the, the person that was shining a, a light in my camera preventing me from filming him as a supervisor, <laughs> the person that's shining a light in my face right now and in my camera is a supervisor, he's a supervisor? Please step, step back, please. If this is the supervisor, one can only imagine the standards for the rest of the department. Just watch this dude with the hand in his hand. Yeah, yeah he's about to ease close to the rest. And if he tries to say something to you, just fuck flashlight and camera. Nah, I'm not even gonna acknowledge him. The officer's frustration can be clearly seen as he urges his colleague to block the camera. You gotta speak to your supervisor, please. I am him, what do you want? You are him? you are him? What do you want, can you, can you get away from me? I'm are you working. scared? I'm working. Are you scared? I'm not scared of nothing. Okay. You think I'm scared of you? Well, the, the right way to say it is you're not scared of anything. I'm but not scared of anything. There you go. Yet, without any real justification, the officer's aggression towards Sean only escalate. <laughs> Do you understand what the First Amendment of the United States the Constitution is, Griffin? Did you take an oath to uphold that Constitution? You did, right? You know, a, a, a real man will take his oath seriously and uphold it. But yet you want to violate that oath by flashing your, putting your flashlight in my face and in my camera. It's clear that Sean is ready to stand his ground and remind the officer of his duty. Filmed him. So I recorded him. Which is my it right. It depends. If you're interfering with that, then you're obstructing what we're doing. The sergeant arrives with a new tactic, intimidation. But will it work? You know, if I'm obstructing, arrest me for obstructing, we'll take it in court. But to put your flashlight, my camera's not obstructing anything, is it? It's not. John keeps his composure, explaining the situation to the sergeant. But what happens next? Truly surprising. Look, you can come up there. I gotta get more bags. He's an idiot. I just flashed my flashlight at him. Yeah, he was, he was complaining about that. Okay. Well, what's well, gonna keep happening? I've been trying to record the whole time, so ever since we was over there. Right. Well, he's saying you're violating your. No, that's fine. Rights, which I don't believe you did. I mean, no. you flash, flashlight. And I'm and I'm gonna keep and doing it. The officer is relentless, convinced that he's in the right despite clear violations of Sean's right. You see, uh, I'm one of the guys that was trained law enforcement and chose this. Right. I'm glad I did, because back when I was trained, we were allowed to whip people's asses and then we didn't have this. Uh, well, I no. mean, he's really not doing anything wrong, but... No, no, no I, mean, I know, but I get... No, I mean, you guys it, have a lot of aggravation to have It's frustrating, yes, nowadays. but he's not doing I'm anything. I'm just old school training. This disturbing statement reveals the mindset taught at the academy. Your police chief must be bad if he's allowing this kind of behavior. Even after all of this, the officer remains indifferent. Makes you wonder, are these really the people who swore an oath to protect our rights? What a low standards law enforcement. Oh, man. Does 
arrogance is palpable as he drives away, seemingly untouched by his action. But does he really get away with it? After an internal investigation, both officers face disciplinary action. The bravery of this citizen, standing up against questionable police tactics, is truly inspiring. But this next cop wasted no time in committing the most vilest of deeds. Stay out here. In June 2020, a dramatic standoff unfolded as a group of officers surrounded a house to arrest Rio Arriba County Sheriff James Lujan. What happened next was anything but routine. But no, just stay here. No, I can't, I can't, I can't have you enter the, the scene. With tensions high, the officers quickly take control, securing the area as they close in on Lujan. Well, you got Tabitha over there. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah. I got the press out here taking pictures of me in handcuffs. With Lujan now in handcuffs, his demeanor shifts. He grows more aggressive, letting his frustration and anger seep through. Keep them up there. Hold on, we have press Keep them up there. Come over right. here, sir. Keep them up there. Sheriff, go. Stop me. Stop me. Stay out here. Just stop, just stop, just stop. It's, ah, okay. Jesus. Wait. Really? You don't have to. Look, look just, to stand. look behind just stand. You. Just stand. Just stand. Stand up. Stand up. Yeah. Put, him, put him on the other side of the truck. Put him on the oh, other side Jesus. of the truck. Even in custody, Lujan refuses to let the officers do their job challenging their every move. But they stand firm, knowing he has no right to interfere. You have a search warrant for my iPhone, you got my iPhone, you want a search warrant for the building, you're searching the building, I don't know what you're searching for though. I'm going to tell you. Okay. You're not letting me explain this. Let me explain. As soon as I find the page. Lujan continues to be a disruptive presence, a complete menace while being detained, leaving the officers no choice but to keep him restrained. What I'm asking for you to do is unlock your phone, unlock it, give it back to me, and I'm going to remove the security settings. I don't want your passcode. I'm not asking for your passcode. I'm asking you to unlock the phone. For the search warrant, you can read it if you want under number two. I will if I get a chance to talk to my attorney. It doesn't work like that. Marty, this is not a negotiation. Get off. This is not a, this is not huh? a negotiation, sir. Sheriff's sudden shift to demanding a lawyer raises eyebrows. Meanwhile, he blatantly ignores the officers, showing no regard for basic decency. No. Then, if I'm under arrest, I have a right to an attorney, correct? You do. Okay. And I'm not questioning you. I'm invoking I'm my right to I'm an telling. attorney right now. Okay. Do you understand that? So, take him in. Book me for booking. Okay. For obstruction. Obstruction. Book it. They're gonna book me. Really? This shit. Stop. 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 Just walk. Just walk. Just walk. Just walk. What are you doing? Luan's actions finally catch up with him. A fellow officer, Luhan disregards the rules, even attempting to flee the scene. But there is no escaping accountability this time. I'm telling you what the warrant stipulates. I understand that. I told you what the warrant stipulates. You have every opportunity to cooperate. You want to cooperate, you're going to jail. Have a seat, sir. Alright, Trent. No, I haven't been sir, sir. Just take me so we can do it. I don't want to make sure you don't have any knives. I don't have any knives. I don't have any weapons. I that's my wallet. I don't have any weapons. Okay? I really don't. You took my weapon. As a matter of fact, you left it on the back of my trunk over there. You can get somebody to secure it. We'll secure everything for you. Can you move these to the front? No, sir. Yes. Well, it's Despite being placed in the squad car, Luhan remains defiant and hostile, lashing out at the officers who try to keep the situation calm. His guilt becomes more apparent with each passing moment. That's all we're doing. We're, we're done here. We're leaving. Okay, well, get out of here then. You're done. Get out. We'll no. leave when we're ready. You okay. said you were done. Yeah. 
we're, we're wrapping it up right now. You okay. know how it goes. You know how it goes. We're, we're doing our law enforcement duties. That's okay. it. District court signed it. That's it. Okay. Okay, so as soon okay. as we're done, we're going to get out of your hair. Why are you calling everybody here to this put them in our house? Well, right now it's ours. Oh, right yes. now it's ours. Oh, wow. We own the building right now. Shut up. Don't talk oh, to me like that. that. Shut up. Hey. I don't work for you. Hey, don't okay. talk to me Shut like up. that. Shut up. Easy, go easy. There. Get, get that and let's go. Are we done in there? Are we done in there? Okay. Do we have what we came for? Yes. Okay. Then go. Tension escalates when Lujan's own squad arrives, trying to intimidate the officers and demand that they leave. But these officers refuse to back down, standing their ground. Finally, Luhan is taken down to the station for further processing, faces the consequences he thought he could avoid. The sheriff's downfall had been a long time coming and justice was finally served. Now take a look at how the courtroom session played out. The people of Rio Arriba County elected you to be sheriff. They put their trust in you to uphold the law and you let them down. Judge Ellenwood's powerful words echoed through the courtroom, capturing the unspoken thoughts of everyone present. Yes, Your Honor. I try to do the best that I can to help everybody I can and I am no way would want to. As the gravity of the situation sank in, Luhan's demeanor changed noticeably, previous confidence slipping away. The law is the law. You are not above the law, nor can you ignore the law when it serves your purpose. The sentences will be served consecutively for a total of four and a half years, of which three years of imprisonment and one and a half years supervised probation. When the judge announced his sentence, it was impossible not to wonder how he once thought he was invincible, yet reality hit him hard. However, in this next case, we will see that not all cops feel such shame and guilt till it's too late. Still feeling good? On November 5th, 2023, an off-duty officer identified as James Coralejo. Reckless speeding that fateful night would forever change his destiny. I'm coming southbound. She's coming northbound inside lanes both times. I don't know where we cross. Okay, you're going south. She's going north. She's going north. Inside lanes on both equal lanes of traffic. He's in the car. Do you have a weapon there or anything? No, off-duty. Okay. I'm not carrying. Okay. The service weapons in, in okay. my uh, holster okay. at home. Okay. All right, stay here, okay. Just as the officers arrived, they immediately knew whose fault it was, judging by James's careless attitude towards how serious the situation was. All I'm looking for is honesty, okay? I, I know you're I know you're in a tough predicament right now. It's like that, okay? I'm looking right. for is honesty compliance. And that, that's all I'm asking for, okay? Alright. Right. When was the last time you drank tonight? A little bit earlier. Okay, how long ago was that? A couple hours, about two. Two hours ago? Okay. What were you drinking? I had about a beer. His evasive responses about how much he has had to drink only raised more suspicion about what he was hiding. Listen, I, I can tell you I'm drinking. I'm just being honest with you. I know, I know me and you go way back, but we're here right now, okay? You got that? Honestly, if this was a normal citizen, they would have already been behind bars. The way James got first-hand respect, even after such a horrible event, speaks volumes on how these tyrants will go to any length just to protect one of their own. 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 16, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 22, 
23, 2024, 2025, 2026, 2027, 2028, 2029. Okay. Once again, during the one-leg stand test, James struggled to keep his balance, reinforcing what everyone already suspected, he was under the influence. Stand with your feet together and place your arms to your sides, okay? Okay. When I tell you to, tilt your head back slightly and close your eyes until you think 30 seconds has passed. Okay? Do you understand? Okay. When you think 30 seconds has passed, tilt your head forward, open your eyes and say stop. Do you understand? Until your head back. Close your eyes and wait for me to tell you to start, okay? Begin. Time seemed too slow as James, under the haze of intoxication, struggled to count foolishly. The test only confirmed his state, but would this moment mark his lowest point? All right. All right. I gotta do what I gotta do. I gotta, I gotta do what I gotta do now, okay? You understand me? Is that uh, is one too tight? A life was lost that night, yet the responding officer's empathy towards James was palpable. Was this sympathy a sign of professional courtesy or an underlying bias? You're not a bad guy, okay? Everyone here, no one in here thinks you're a bad guy, okay? I'll call the jail, let them know who you are and, and what's going on, okay? But that's, a, that's, a, that's where we're at, okay? Anything else, man? Uh, all right, I'll come. Yeah. Come on. I know, man. Listen, like I said, I'm, I'm treating like everybody else. But no, I, everybody don't else, okay? I don't want to be treated. I know. Next, a cop tries to enforce the law with a power trip but he soon regrets messing with the wrong person. On the 1st of May, 2024, the mother of three, Morgan Branch was driving down the road with her kids in the back when a couple of Kentucky State Troopers stopped her. What followed next was downright shocking. 6-1, Morgan Branch. I got my children before you better I back. I don't care, you better back. Shut my door up. Don't tell me what Shut my door. Do. I'll run this <laughs> Get her, get out my <laughs> face. My children are in the car. I can't. This is a standard with no e-brake. Well, I ain't doing anything out. wrong. What the fuck is this? You will not take my phone. This is a normal traffic violation, and you are in denial of rights under Don't the color of... Put your finger in my I am buckled. I am no threat to you. You uh, will. Back oh. Get your superintendent now. The officers took no time to get hands on with the poor woman who had done nothing wrong. She repeatedly asserted how she could not get out of her vehicle, but the cops didn't seem to understand her problem. Well, my vehicle will drive off. You're going to get on. Ma'am, you will be getting your lieutenant right now. Don't work. I said that five times. Look at me. Get your lieutenant now. We don't have a lieutenant there. My kids are in this car. There's no e brake on it. I'm not, and I am recording this entire interaction. We are too. I went and got my children McDonald's. The female trooper was the aggressor, and she didn't even try to mine her words. Several officers had arrived on the scene and were trying to ease out the situation. Why are you screaming at us? She's screaming at me. She came up nasty as hell. Okay, I said, did you not see the lights? That's what I and said. And I pulled and into I here. You went Good in for here you. pretty recklessly with children in the car. You went I am not reckless recklessly. as hell. No, ma'am. No, yes, ma'am. And this is a normal traffic one. stop. You are a snotty girl. Are you, uh, are this is a normal traffic you stop. You are all. Yes. Yes. Have you, have yes. You provided your driver's license. I provided my Did social. Absolutely. Provided. I have registration. Okay. This is a normal traffic stop. And you are in violation, denial of rights under the color of law, in which I will prosecute in your agency. Okay. Yes, ma'am, I will. Don't thank my family ain't lawyers. The officers had no regard for the woman and her little children sitting in the back as they kept on being abusive and refused to give her any relaxation. No, ma'am. No, I'm sir. I am not. You all are under, out of control. Absolutely out of control. This is a normal traffic stop. Please get my stuff. Write me my I ticket mean, for no, my false interest. Will you shut up? Tell me quit doing all right. Because I'm getting pissed off. You don't want me to get pissed my off. Right? Children so are, I need your my name children and I need your date of birth and I need to write. Morgan Branch, 11 9 1999. Please shut my door. Paige, shut my door. Have you have you woken up my children. Like no. What? What's your date of birth again, ma'am? 11 9 1999. 
The female officer was then removed from the situation and a supervisor arrived. That's when Morgan tried to tell her what happened earlier. I tried to, she said, she said, can I give it, give it, I need your license. I went to reach in to grab my registration, my license right here. What are you reaching for? Girl, you told me my license. I was right here for the whole thing. I was not reaching fast. She asked for my license, so I went right here in my glove box and got my license and registration. Well, my license ain't on me, but. Yeah, we don't want to scream. We don't want to cause a cause a scene. Oh, they're gonna be. I don't. I don't want my children to trust. No. Yeah. You'll teach them to be a sovereign citizen because you know the color of Absolutely. However, the male trooper wasn't any different to the other one. It seemed as if they had some personal problem with Morgan as they just wouldn't accept their mistake. And you don't know jack shit about me? I know plenty. You wouldn't know shit from Shinola? I know a bunch. Trooper Mitchell will be up with you shortly, okay? I expect to be not hear any screaming. Who the hell is Mitchell? Is that the blonde yes. bitch? The female trooper. Mm. Okay. Can you please, I request one of you to hand me my ticket? Sure, I'll hand it to you. Okay, I'll take you. Thank you. The trooper was still protecting his female colleague and instead tried to shift the entire blame on Morgan, who was not having any of it. I do not want any more interactions with that woman. I don't think any of us want another interaction with you, to be honest with you. Well, I'm doing pretty good cooperating well with you. You're calm. We're communicating pretty there's, effectively. Yeah, there's no need for screaming. I hate screaming. Mm -hmm. I hate hollering. There's no need for that. We're communicating. It's childish, to be honest with you. I don't know what the hell our problem was. I'm not talking about her. Well, I know you ain't talking about me. I am. Well, you got opinions or ass? Everybody's got one. Yep. Some have bigger ass than others, too. Mm -hmm. Some have whole asses. How many cars you got on me right now? Five. Stop cussing. <laughs> it's freedom of speech. I can just cuss freely. I'm not menacing or cussing at you. Morgan waited in her car before she got her ticket for expired tag. She kept waiting for a supervisor to arrive, but no one came. OK. I don't like cussing. I'm sorry. You're offended. You're a police officer. I, I hope you'd have much greater shoulders on than that for me cousin freely Why did you think I was West Virginia? I thought that's where you was from. Yeah. She got her ticket and left. She posted this interaction on her Facebook profile, and since then, it has received hundreds of shares, with many people expressing outrage at the trooper's behavior. However, as the case is relatively fresh, we don't have any updates regarding the Kentucky State Police, but we can hope that they discipline their officers. Morgan, though, claimed that she'll be filing a complaint soon, and this isn't the last time officers crossed their limits and were put in their place. Sir, I, I'm allowed Back to- Back the off, dude. Okay. Give me some space, dude. Go ahead and turn. Give me some space, dude. Behind you. In September 2022, First Amendment auditor Joshua Roberts was just recording from a public place when a couple of employees from Dove Technologies on the other side of the road came over to confront him. You don't have my permission to even turn that off right now. What was that? I can't hear you. You don't have my signed authorization to have my face on that camera. Turn it off. Can I have your signed authorization? One of them appeared very distraught from the fact that Roberts was recording. That's when he came up pretty close to him and did something shocking. Can I help you? No, can we help can you help us? Yo, get away from me, buddy. No, no, dude. Who are the you? Get away from me, dude. Why are, why are you here? Back the f Why are you here? I suggest you leave me alone. Uh, you're on private property. Uh, I suggest you do something about that then and get back inside. Ooh. Really? Yeah, really. You like going around people like this? You, know you think what? that's fun? Don't, don't touch my buddy.
That's, oh, go ahead. Touch. Oh, so. Do it. Do it. Uh, what, what, Touch what, it. That's on camera. What, what are Back we doing? the f What are we doing here? Back the f off, buddy. You touch you get tased. Back inside. What, what's going on here? Get the f back inside. Do not touch me. As expected, Roberts was furious to see him getting hands on with his camera and pulling out his taser. Both of them had to back off, but kept on arguing with him. Why did he come up and grab me? I didn't you grab back me. off. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did, buddy. Get that thing out of my face. No, you can come up to me, get in my face. I'll do something, buddy. Get inside. I'll call 911. Get inside. Call the sheriff's department. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude, you just come up and grab people? What the f is and wrong with you? you? Your homie did. Don't hate my homie. This is, this is private property. You say you're filming. This is an easement. I'm not on your property. You see that? That belongs to the city. And why, why are you here anyway? So let me ask you a question. Does that give you the right to come up and grab my camera and almost why break it? Hey, you assaulted me, call buddy. Call the sheriff's department. Hey, call hey, your call husband. husband. Fat boy. Oh man, whoa, oh, man. this guy's great. Get in, tubby. Yeah, he, he's freaking hopped up on freaking meth. Look at his teeth. Yeah, look at you, buddy. You come up and grab me for fucking reason. What's your problem? What did I do to you? What did I do to you? I'm out in public recording and you come up and grab somebody, dude. That guy had no understanding of the law, as Roberts had every right to film from a public space. Soon after, he called the sheriff's office, and minutes later, a couple of deputies arrived from the Florence County Sheriff's Office. Hey, how about this? I go up to you and grab your phone right out of your hand and snatch it. What are you gonna do if I do that? What you, you're gonna beat the shit on me, right? He grabbed my cr Yeah, buddy, I got your name too. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get a nice little talking to with the, the police. Oh, nothing. Just gonna assault it out here. That's about it. Getting assaulted. Yeah, by one of their workers. What, what happened? I was just out here taking some pictures, and one of the guys came out here saying he didn't want to be filmed, and he ran up to me, started circling me, grabbed my camera, started pushing up on me. So that sounds like an assault to me. And it's all videotaped. You have it on video? Oh, it's all recorded. Luckily, he didn't break my camera. Otherwise, I probably can show you guys if you want to see it. Because I do want to press charges on him. Was there something involving a taser? Oh, I pulled it out in self-defense. Okay. When you come out at me like that and you're about to destroy my stuff and put, do bodily harm to me, you're damn right I'm going to pull a taser on someone. The deputy started to walk over to Dave Technologies to have a talk with the guy, but suddenly stopped and tried giving some law lessons to Robert, which he didn't seem to like much. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a report on him too. That's fine, we can, yep. we can do that. Oh yeah, they're gonna have to learn. Just, I just need to give this deputy your information for me, all right? You have an ID or something? I don't have an ID. Okay. Yeah, buddy, you're gonna learn. You can't come outside and grab people, man. That ain't right. All right. Calls him to get Is it free speech? Am I allowed to say stuff? Well, you have a freedom of speech, but there's also something called breach of peace. Okay, I'd like to see you try that, buddy. Those people put hands on me. I'm the victim. So you want you want to turn it around on me? I'm not turning it around. Please do so. What I'm telling you is, you guys are known to be the biggest pieces of. Sh Instead of going inside and holding him accountable for assaulting Roberts, the deputy stood and started to issue threats against him. Let me explain something to you, all right? Yeah, yeah sure. Explain to me public photography and people coming up and touching me. What did I do wrong? Are well, you going to let me talk? Go on ahead. What I was saying is, I don't need you yelling while I'm trying to talk to this man because that's going to cause him to yell, cause a scene. You get mad, he's gonna get mad, then it escalates. Okay. Just talk to this deputy. Let me tell you something. I'm allowed to say whatever the hell I want. You if I want to say to him because he came up and grabbed me and I want to call him a dummy for doing that, I have every right to. What? If you yell across this parking lot while well, you have all these people standing around, that is called breach of peace. You want to try that, buddy. I will lock you up. You want to try that. Yes, I will. You want to try that. All right. Try I'm it. Not going that try way. it. Try it. Name and badge right. number. Corporal Driggers, one at eight. Name and badge number. Driggers, 230. All right, go do my assault charge. The supervisor went inside, whereas Robert stood out and gave his information to the other deputy. He then urged the deputy to go inside and confront the person who had been hiding. Look, they, they have to run me first, everyone. They can't run the actual criminal. 
They had to run me first. You got a good phone number? Uh, no, I don't. You don't have a phone number? I don't have a phone so number. So you understand when they, if you do want to file a report, when they, they're not going to be able to contact you. Oh, so I can't file a report then because I don't have a phone? Did I say that? I said oh, they're no. going to have the issue contact. No, I have an email address. Can I give you my email address? Sure. Pepperoni Audits at USA.com. You said at USA.com? USA.com. All together. Yeah, like I said, he should be questioning the guy, the short fat guy who grabbed me. I don't know why he's hiding inside. I just gave you my information. Now, let's do this report. Can you go tell him go question the guy who assaulted me? He's going to conduct his investigation. It's not my job to supervise, supervise. So you can't tell him the information I just gave you? you what, the description, description of the individual? Okay. Do you see him up there? No, he's not. He's inside hiding. He hasn't left either. I've gotten every license plate, every car that's come in and out of here. I made sure of that. What was he wearing? Yeah, a blue shirt. Short, uh, dark hair, fat. Probably the only short, fat one in there. Just like his supervisor, this deputy also started to raise concerns against Roberts, completely ignoring what happened earlier. It seemed as if the deputies had already formed an opinion. Am I on the property? I'm assuming you were if you were over there. Oh, you're assuming I was. Were you over there? You said you were filming that car. You know what? I'm not going to answer any more questions. Walking around the vehicles, filming the car, so that means you was on the property. I'm not going to answer any more questions. That's how stupid you, you are. That's how stupid you are. Keep on going. Yeah. This is called a career killer right here, this camera. Yeah. yeah. That's all you got to do in it. Yeah, it, it is. And you got to violate rights and not uphold I'm your not violating your oath. You're right. You can film all day. Well, you just said I was on their property. You said you was on their property. I never did once. You said you was walking around the car see, filming see, the cars. I said I was filming every license plate and every car going so, in and out. Does, right. Did I say I was inside their if property? If we do this report, you need to explain to me in detail how it got to the point Do where... you see where I'm standing? Do you see where I'm standing right now? Hey, I'm over here. You're standing by the mailbox. I'm Technically, right. this is still their property. You're so Until dumb. You in a road, road I dare road. you, man. I dare you. Give dare me, me to what? Trespass me. If you think this is their property, trespass me. You need to explain to me what happened to the point where you say you got assaulted. How about I talk to this guy? Is this your supervisor? Is you're not doing Man, you're just an idiot. Walk over there and talk to him. Shortly after, another deputy arrived at the spot, and Roberts went over to talk to him, hoping that someone might be interested in knowing the truth. Yeah. Deputy Potion 229. All right, I just got assaulted, and this guy really doesn't care. He's not really, he's- He's just talking shit, running his mouth. That's all he does. I'm just talking shit, you hear this guy? He said he got assaulted, but he is yet to tell me how. I, I told you- circled by this guy. I've told him multiple times, this guy is terrible. If you're mm -hmm. a supervisor, recommend him. I'm not He'll, a all right, can you help me and do your job? Our and over there. You know, cuss him out. Yeah. Oh, why did I cuss him out? Because he said he was going to arrest me after yeah, I got he assaulted. He said he was going to arrest you for breach of peace if you didn't exactly. shut your mouth. Exactly. How about you shut your mouth? How about you do that, buddy? Okay. Just shut your mouth. I don't you're have to useless. do anything you say. You're useless, bro. Okay. You're a useless public servant. Right. That's all you are. And then he went boom and grabbed my camera and twisted as hard mm -hmm. as he could. He almost broke the lens off. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious if he's allowed to do that, can I do that to anyone? Like if I see a girl in public and she has a purse on and I'm like, give me that purse, let me see it for a second. I can just grab it. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, so that's that's illegal. Yeah. Okay, all right, just making sure. Moments later, the supervisor arrived and it appeared that Roberts wouldn't be getting the justice he wanted. Hi, Mr. Roberts. I spoke with the two gentlemen that came out and dealt with you. All right. All their information is going to be entered into the report as well as your statement that you gave this deputy. All right. All right. I made them aware that, yes, you can view video from a public area, which the roadway is public. But if you cross over into the I've track. checked the property lines. I don't need directives. Okay. Well, well, well I, I still got to tell you, okay? You don't have to tell me. Well, I'm going. The supervisor kept on talking and tried to teach some law to Roberts, but he managed to ignore that all adding a touch of humor to it. Well, you know what? If you go if he, their property, you will be arrested for trespass. If you wash your hands afterwards, 
just wash your hands. I just don't want to of your hands. So make sure if you ever master to wash your hands afterwards, okay? You go on the property, you're gonna go to jail. If you smoke, that's not good, man. So please don't smoke. Please, please don't do hair. Please don't. Oh, there'll be a big protest here, buddy. I'm gonna have big signs that say Dove. And I'd like to see you come try do something then. We're gonna have a nice little protest out here. Peaceful protest. But you're upset I didn't have any warrants. Hey, remember, wash your hands, man. Just wash your hands. However, just when it seemed that the altercation is over, Sergeant Paul Morrison appeared out of nowhere and did something shocking. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? Uh, not too good. Wow, what's going on today, buddy? That's some dude inside. Oh yeah, yeah, I like to get close. I like to talk to people. Can you stop? No, no, sir. So I, I want to talk to you. What's dude, going on, stop, my friend? Stop fucking getting so close to me, dude. What's going on, man? Dude, stop approaching me. Sir, I, I'm allowed Back to... Off, dude. Okay. Give me some space, dude. Go ahead and turn. Give me some space. Put your hand behind the back. No, give me some... The sergeant attacked Roberts, throwing his camera on the ground in the process of doing so. He went ahead to arrest him, and he was taken to the county jail too, but released immediately. For you? Absolutely. Oh yeah, very nice dude, very nice. Enjoy the lawsuit. Enjoy paying for my camera too. Absolutely. Enjoy paying for my camera. Now, you getting resistant arrest? Resisting, I'm not moving. No, when I went to put my hands on you, you pulled away from me. Yeah, because you have no right to arrest me. Sir, you're nothing. under arrest. You have the right to attorney you have him or president. me. You Sir, you have the right to attorney have him or president before he questions and ask you decide any time to exercise these rights and not make any more statements. Do you understand these rights? I don't answer any more questions without a lawyer uh, present. Absolutely. All right, go ahead and stand them up. So here's the thing. You pulled it out and you were starting them. He attacked okay. me. It's on camera. All right. Well, we're going to log all this in, too. Forever. Good. Do it. Thanks for breaking my camera. Appreciate it, man. Make sure you get my battery, too. After this incident, the sergeant took away his camera as well and went ahead to search it and deleted all the footage about the incident. Surprisingly, Roberts recovered all the footage leaving the tyrant cop in massive trouble. Soon after this, an internal investigation took place regarding his behavior and ultimately Sergeant Morrison was fired from his position. Finally, we have a cop who thought he could make up rules on the fly until a savvy civilian set him straight. On November 16, 2016, Deputy Ashley Van Slaughten was dispatched to a location after several concerned individuals had contacted 911 and complained about a person unconscious in a car. The deputy went over to the area and confronted the driver who was passed out. Sir. Sir. Pardon? She doesn't want to go to crisis. Pardon? She ain't carrying any assistance. Sir. You need to wake up and talk to me. He's fine, so he's just stop. I, I don't understand. What are you doing? You're on the side of the road, slumped over. What's going on? The deputy attempted to wake him up from his sleep, but he seemed to be passed out pretty badly. The person was still alive, and the deputy contacted EMS. I need to know you're all right. Right now, you don't look all right. Hi there. Whoa! Your eyes are open. Oh, my gosh. What's going on? Sir, I just updated EMS, <clears throat> also advising the 28 you gave me of David Paul George. 
Back, no. Deputy Ashley had no idea that the unconscious person in the car was none other than Midland County Sheriff Scott Stevenson. Just as the deputy had lost all hope, the sheriff suddenly woke up. Second of all, someone called, said you were sitting on the side of the road, slumped over, which you were. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What, uh, what's going on today? Nothing. Nothing? No. You gotta give me a little more than that. Not not just we don't all just sit down know, and sleep on the side of the road. I know. I'm sorry. Have you been drinking? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Bad. Bad. Uh, okay. Uh, bad. Bad. I'm, I'm not driving. Right, but you. <laughs> how did you get here? Is the question. Yeah, I know. I. I. Uh. uh Bad, bad, bad dealio. Where are you coming from? Midland. Midland? I'm from Midland. The sheriff didn't wait long to flaunt his badge and authority to the young deputy. She was confused to find such a high-ranking officer in such an embarrassing state. What? Uh, I... Well, let me, let me, step, step out of the... No, 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 l l uh... It's Van Sloten. What's... Oh, shit. Yeah, what well... Are you kidding me? Well, someone... My dispatcher called. Someone thought you were dead over here. Good. Hey. Listen, no, I hey, don't know. I don't. Sultan, hey, listen. I don't know who you are. I, I'm fucking Midland County Sheriff. I, I, good. I had a bad day. Okay. I don't. I don't need EMS. I don't need you. It'd be cool if we, what, what, you know, but I, I don't, I do not need EMS. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking Miller County. Where, where, where are you? Kalkaska. This is Kalkaska County. As the deputy had called for EMS, it arrived promptly, but there was no need for it. The deputy asked them to leave as the sheriff was still trying to make sense of this ordeal. C step out. Yeah, okay. step out. Talk to them. They, they, we're going to need to know you're all right because they already have been called. You know the drill. I'm good. I'm good. Scott. Scott. My name yep. is Mike. I'm good, Mike. Paramedics here at Health I do not need a help. I do. I, I, uh, I, 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 Just wait here one second, county, all right? Yeah, Two hours ago? How much do you usually drink when you drink? Not very. You're not a big drinker? Okay. No, but okay. I, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, what did you? Yeah. It looks like he I, did. He I, had I, McDonald's. I, I, I had a McDonald's. The deputy was already pretty stressed about the situation. And to make matters worse, the sheriff contacted his friend Jerry Cannon, the police chief of Garfield Town. The deputy, alongside the chief, went over to talk to the sheriff to discuss the sad situation he had found himself in. What kind of a person would I be if I just let you go? And, and drive off, you know? Um, I, mean, I can take responsibility. For I know you gotta do what you gotta do, and I'm not trying to. I, uh, I, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm fine, I'm embarrassed, I'm not. I I'm not, and uh, I, I, I realize that. Um, uh, I, I know, but I, I guess I, t I just talked to my sergeant, and yeah. he said, I, you know, you gotta do yeah, what yeah, you gotta yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, no, I and I respect I respect the hell out of you. I do. I but I I've talked to a, Kevin. I, I've, I've had a bad I've had a bad gosh darn day. Yeah. Uh, with mom and my uncle and I I, I don't want to give you a sob story. I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Uh, um, uh, I hate to put you in this situation and uh, and and that's what it, you know. Do you th how do you on a scale of one to ten? Where do you think you're at? For driving, alcohol, drinking, drinking yeah. Uh, uh, five. I don't know. Suddenly, the sheriff was trying to boast about his authority to get out of the scene without any accountability. However, despite being surrounded by two highly influential officers, the young deputy remained resolute and refused to give in. Four yeah. and four beers. Four. Four beers. Four yeah. beers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Probably that. Okay. Yeah. You'd burn that off. I, I can I can burn was the last and you had the last one two hours ago? Yeah. 
Yeah, probably. Where at? I was... Uh, Midland? No, Gladwin. Gladwin. Uh, Jesus Christ, I'm begging you, man. Don't. I, I, we get it. But you, I do. Yeah, I do. I, I absolutely. I pass the, the PBT. I'm, 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 field sobriety, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going to get... I. Jesus, Jenny. I mean, I'm, I'm Jerry Cannon. I'm, I'm going up to his phone. That's me. Central 4031 status. Jerry. <laughs> field sobriety. Yeah. Jerry, see, loves, if it, see if it plays out. I mean, if, if you said you've had four... Yeah, if you, what you're telling hours, us is true. It was two hours ago. I should be burned off two you, is, Yeah. You would, yeah. Despite pressure from Chief Cannon, the deputy stood firm and followed the protocol as she decided to conduct the field sobriety test. Okay. Walk and turn. I like to start with my left foot. I don't know if that's just easier because then you end up pivoting correctly. Yeah. Um, it's up to you though. Of course, you know, count out loud, hands down, hands down at your side. Count out loud each step. One, one thousand, two, three, four, five, right. six, seven, eight, nine. Pivot. And then follow back nine steps. Hands down at your side, counting out loud. Mm -hmm. Nine. 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 Here. Yeah, you wanna you wanna start over when on a more flat surface. I, I'm good. Okay. The chief and the sheriff realized that they had no option but to stick with the procedure. That's when the sheriff started the test. However, his performance was abysmal, and it was enough to imagine the amount of alcohol he had consumed earlier. Ready. Re ready when you are. You sure? Yeah. I don't know if I want to do right or left foot, though. It's up to you. Which, yeah. Whichever one's more comfortable for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. The sheriff performed very poorly on the last test, and now it was time to give him a breathalyzer test, something that would prove how things were. However, the ignorant sheriff refused to provide one as he once again requested the officers to leave him alone. You pass this, I'm gonna take responsibility for you. Mm -hmm. If I don't though, then I'm... Oh geez, you guys, this, this can be... Uh... Jesus. Career ending. Jesus, Jenny. Life altering. It's Jesus, serious business. Jerry, Jerry this, 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 uh, I mean, we, we, uh, I, I, I don't know if I can pass that thing. I gotta be honest with you before I even take it. I, I, I don't think <clears throat> uh, four or five in the last, you know, whatever. Um, Jesus, Jerry, you can't, you can't do anything. I, Jerry, Jerry, I can, I can, I can follow you to my brother's place. You know where I'm going. At this moment, the sheriff's conduct was embarrassing, and even his friend couldn't do anything. Eventually, he started begging the deputy to leave him alone, as he was repeatedly flaunting his status. Status. I'm a, I'm a constitutional fuck, sir. You know? Good. I know. Okay. This is this is a, this is not a. Okay. Okay. You can't. Do it. I'll, I'm gonna. I, you, you can't. Do if you that. refuse, I understand, Jerry. Like, yes. I, yeah. um, Jerry, I'm not. I'm there's just, really no choice here. I, I understand that, and I and and uh, uh, you can't. You, you can't. You can't. You can put me in what? You can't take me to jail. I'm a goddamn sheriff. 
I mean, you can, but I, I, I get it. I, I understand that, but Jesus Christ, I'll, uh, my life's... Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, we've been out here a long time. We're going to start, All right, uh, Jerry, start attracting attention. Jerry, I, sorry, I, I understand. I understand. Oh, yeah. Eventually, the sheriff agreed to provide the breathalyzer test, but the deputy was surprised to see the results. She couldn't believe her eye. What? I got to reset. Okay. Blow, 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 blow. Is that good? Might be. Jeez. Oh, shit, Jerry. Well, you know what? Hey. Hey, man. Jesus Christ, I'm Brandon. I, 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 I know, I know the situation I'm putting you in. Jerry, Jesus Christ, give me a phone. Try, help me out, man. I can't go to help me. Seriously. Scott had blown 0.23, almost three times the legal limit of 0.08. At this point, no one could save him from being arrested, but the entitled sheriff went on another rant, this time even more aggressive. That, that, that doesn't have to read what it reads. Jesus Christ, Jerry. I, 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 I'm, I'm. I got my uncle that's fucking going to goddamn nurse home. My mom's fucking the same way. I have nothing. My brother and fucking I, 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 I it's been a fuck day, Jerry. Jesus Christ. Please help me, man. Please, please help me, man. Help me. I got enough. I got enough shit on my plate right now. I don't. I don't need that. This is, you know how embarrassing this is. Please help me. Please. I, help I want me. to, but I mean. Jesus Christ, Lancelot. You, you can. You you can, Jerry. You. God damn, Jerry. Are you serious? I'm gonna. I I can't go to jail for drunk driving, man. You created this situation. Okay. You, you know this, and it's sandwich and you're throwing it at her feet i'm not i'm not trying to throw it at her i know feet i know so i understand you're upset i, so I sorry and everyone you. has it i know it's truly disappointing to see a police veteran act this way when he's being held accountable for his action this same sheriff must have stopped countless people for the same offense and never let them off jesus christ jerry come on man I'm, i i was i got chilly in the back of my goddamn car you're to go to your place man you know Jerry, this is not this is not the end of the world, man. I was pulled over. I was I was I was already over. I wasn't knocking anybody off the road. I was I was here, Jerry. Jesus Christ, I was I was here. I'm going up to your place. Don't don't take me to jail for drunk driving. That's 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 the worst thing in the world. I I'll, that that's fucking terrible. I can't. Um, I just I. Uh, I don't want to put you in a bad spot. I do not want to do that. But I, honey, I can't. I can't. I can't. Uh, just, just get the record off. Let it go. Mm -hmm. I'll take responsibility for this. So you don't have to tow or. Okay. I'm so sorry. I don't I know am. what that means. Oh, oh she's got to take you in. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sir. The sheriff was still refusing to accept the reality, and even the cop's patience was wearing thin. It's, 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 it's okay, and, and, and I don't, I don't, uh, Jesus Christ, Jerry, are you shitting me? You're a goddamn You can't do anything, Jerry. Who did you I just wish talk? I, could. I, wish I, could. Well, I know you can. First of all, I'm not the sheriff anymore. I know you're not. I know I know Abe's gone and, too, and, and, and I know and and those I get old it. days and ways are gone. Little or no Jesus Christ, I can't go to jail for drunk driving. God damn it! Are you shitting? Can you not just? Can I just not get this car towed and fuck put me? I I I don't I don't know, Jerry. Come on, are you? I'm not. It's as serious as the heart attack, and you know. 
fuck them. Did the chief claimed he could do nothing as the good old days were gone. This surely means that he was only afraid of the body cam. Otherwise, the sergeant would have been home by now, and we'd never find out about this entitled sheriff. He, he nope. got a f for drunk driving. We've already been through this. All right, Jerry. Lock her up, give me the keys. It'll be at my house. I'm I'm so, uh, my, my brother's gonna be. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. My life and taking the change. Taking the change. Jerry. Well, we, we'll, we'll talk about that. Well, it doesn't, there's nothing to talk about. I'm I, uh, and I'm sorry to put both you in this position. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, um... I, I'm sorry to put you. Uh, in a position here, you know, I understand it's a tough position. But I'm, this is going to go through the. God, I had such a good thing going. Deputy actually managed the situation remarkably, as another officer might have crumbled under pressure. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jerry! I fuck. I got two years of gold, man, and I'm done. All I needed to not do was. And something like this. Jerry. So you'll make it. You get the Well, man. Yeah. I'm a jury. I'm you, if you run again, you made it. You'll make it. This isn't the end of the world. It's embarrassing. It's like not what any of us would ever choose to do, but it is what it is. And we can't change it. The bell has been rung. You cannot unring it. How the did it get wrong, man? Finally, the painful and disturbing episode ended as the sheriff was arrested and taken to the police station. Surprisingly, he was never handcuffed and was free throughout the journey. Not only this, but no officer even attempted to search him before being taken inside the police station. I have never seen so many protocols being broken for anyone. <laughs> To top everything off, the sheriff's blood alcohol level wasn't even tested inside the police station. At this point, he was getting too much preferential treatment just because of his position. The sheriff spent almost an hour inside the police station and was transported to the hospital. Once again, he was never tested, or even if he was, the result was never publicly announced. He returned to the police station, where he spent the night and was released in the morning once he was sober. Scott was later charged with operating a vehicle while intoxicated, and he pled guilty to this charge. He was sentenced to one year probation and was also fined $1,030. He was also ordered to undergo a 
an alcohol highway safety awareness program. These cops learned the hard way that a badge doesn't put them above the law or protect them from consequences. Each of these encounters is a reminder that justice comes swiftly, even from the very people they tried to intimidate. Watching these officers face their reckoning shows the power of standing up for what's right and knowing your rights. If you enjoyed these moments of instant karma, don't forget to like and subscribe for more eye-opening stories where citizens take a stand. And check out this next video right here.